What's up, guys? It's me, Josiah. And it's me, Maribel. And in today's video, we're going to show you three places that you must visit if you're in Santurce, Puerto Rico. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and help our channel grow. Let's get it. So we started our adventure through Santurce at the one and only Lote 23. It refers to itself as a gastronomic park because it's a great place to eat, drink, and be merry. Lote 23 is an area that has food kiosks, an open stage for live music events, and as well as tons of murals and art. This was definitely a highlight of our trip, but you can't call yourself a gastronomic park and not have great food. So we came around lunchtime and we wanted to see what all the hype was about. So I decided to go a little more Puerto Rican traditional and try out El Chuchi Frito because I really wanted some mofongo. If you don't know what mofongo is, it's basically smashed fried plantains and it's served with meat on top. Delicious. If you haven't tried it, you're missing out. And the wife decided to go a little more on the healthier side because she wanted something light. Definitely one of the benefits of eating here is that if you're in a big group, there's so many options so everyone can just pick what they want. So here we are in Lote 23 in Santurce. Some one. About to try some uh, mofongo here. Got some shrimp, some uh, bening in there. It's gonna be fire. There's a lot of little food trucks around here. You see, I got a sereta drink. It's like a cherry juice. And uh, so you can do anything from authentic Puerto Rican food to uh, poke bowls to uh, granola. So once we were done at Lote 23, we decided to make our way over to Calle Sierra. We wanted to burn some of the great food we just had, so we decided to take the scenic route and walk. On the way, we bumped into a free library, some great murals, and oddly some rainbow trees. Fun fact, we found some rainbow trees here in San Durce. If you don't know about rainbow trees, they're also located in Hawaii. And they're called the rainbow trees because of the color of their bark. You can have some green, some reddish, maroon, purple. It's um, a really pretty tree. That's exciting! Fun, Fun facts. facts with Maribel. <laughs> So after a nice long walk, we finally made it to Calle Sierra. I will say there are a couple places that did look a little sketchy, but you also gotta remember that Puerto Rico is still trying to recover from Hurricane Maria and now a pandemic. Calle Sierra is Puerto Rico's version of Miami's Wynwood. Pre-hurricane, they used to hold a festival called Santurce Esle, where they would invite amazing artists to paint these beautiful murals. You can still see some of the work there today. If you have spent any real time in Puerto Rico, you would know that there are tons of murals all over the island, but this area is said to be where it all started. So definitely come take some time to check out these amazing works of art and get some great Instagram photos. All the walking and picture taking got us hungry, so we stopped to grab a quick drink and an empanadilla. Here we are in San Dulce, trying out this new bar that recently opened five months ago. And let's say it's great. If you're in the area, come try it out. Come get some empanadillas. They're actually to die. I hope you enjoy. The best way to finish off your visit to San Dulce is definitely going to be a night in La Placita. La Placita is legendary for its nightlife and all around great vibes. We visited on a Tuesday in the midst of the pandemic, so things were a little dead, but we still had a pretty good time. La Placita is a plaza that's filled with bars and restaurants, and on the weekends is very popular with the locals. 
So if you ask any local when visiting San Juan, they're gonna tell you to go to one place, and that's La Placita. It's basically a little place that's got tons of bars and restaurants. Everyone kind of comes to hang out, grab a mojito. Tonight, it's a weekday in the midst of pandemic, so it's a little dead, but it's still pretty nice vibes. You can hear the music in the background. Definitely recommend coming and having a good time. We actually have an honorary mention and that is Calle Luisa. We didn't have a chance to make it, but from what I understand, it's a booming area as well. Similar to Calle Sierra, where there's tons of murals, restaurants, bars, and great vibes. This is definitely going to be a place we stop next time we're in Santurce. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell. Help us grow. Until the next video, let's get it.